This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a super creative text animation inside of After Effects using some very interesting techniques. We will be using some cool time displacement with a nice gradient map. It sounds cool, the tutorial is even more cooler. So stay tuned throughout the video and enjoy. And without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main as this is going to be a main comp. This time I'm going to go with 2K resolution. You can of course go with 1920 by 1080 as well. 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition for our text. So I'll call this not test. text hit ok let's select the text tool and then you can type in whatever text that you want to type i'm going to just bring down the size a bit and type in the text i want all right so my text layer is set to stroke so i just need to switch that back to normal and make it white for the font i'm using an akira expanded you are free to use any font that you like with the size of 150 i'll align it into the center if you don't see this align tab you can go into windows and there you will find it so now we have our text let's add some little animation to our text so i'll go into the properties go into animate and add a position then go into add and add a property of opacity as well let's set the position to minus 75 go into the rain selector also i'm going to bring down the opacity to 10 basically we will set this to zero but just to see the visual presentation of animation i'm just going to leave it at 10 percent for now let's go to 10 frames and set the offset to minus 100 create a keyframe go to around one second and 10 frames and set this to 100 go into advanced properties and let's change the shape to ramp up and increase the ease low all the way up to 100 so we have a little easing animation and that is looking pretty nice now we can set the opacity all the way up to zero and now we should have this really nice animation which looks pretty cool before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. Skillshare offers class designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. Click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. All right, so I'm happy with the animation now let's go ahead into the main com let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background i'm going to keep it black and a drag and drop in the text layer now we need to create a displacement map in order to accelerate our animation using that displacement map so to do that i'm going to create a new composition called this map hit ok and on the main in the main composition or the text layer i'm gonna go and actually bring up my effects and preset panel i'll dock it right over here and type in displacement and i'm gonna use time displacement so i can just drag and drop it so basically now we need to add a map in order to achieve that displacement so in order to create that map and it's gonna only read the black and white values from the map so you just need to keep that in mind so let's select a rectangular tool and i'm gonna set this to gradient instead of fill that is linear gradient and hit ok we don't need any stroke let's create a shape just like that go into rectangle properties rectangle path one unlink this 
set this to 300 and set this one to 20 so I have a very thick stroke let's move this points which are the gradient points I'm gonna keep it just like that a very nice and simple gradient then let's go into the add property and add a repeater so I'll increase the number of repeater to around 40 I'm going to transform a repeater one and let's change the position so I'm gonna keep it something like that and then I can move this just like so at the top actually you can just keep it right here and align it to the top by clicking on this button just like that now let's go ahead and add one more repeater to this so I'll go into add and let's add a repeater again I'm going to repeater 2 let's increase the copy to around 40 I'm going to transform repeater and let's bring that down just like so so we get this really interesting pattern so like that and let's move this to the left and maybe I'll bring up the copies a bit more and keep this moving so we now have this really nice pattern which is gonna you know accelerate our animation so now let's go back into the main comp drag and drop in the map composition hide this we don't need to see that select the text going to effects and control panel so we have the time displacement let's set the time displacement map layer to map and now right off the bat without doing anything you can see if i just set this to auto we get this cool reveal but we also need to move our text a bit so what i'm going to do is set this to minus 0.1 and let's preview this so there we go there we have our really cool text animation and this is basically the base of the complete animation now what I'm gonna do is add some detail to this and to add some detail I have a simple shape video shapes video so if I just solo that up pretty simple and by the way you can download the complete project file from the link in the description below so you don't need to worry about the assets that I'm using so here we have the shape video I'm gonna go right over here let's crop that up holding alt and open square bracket let's move this at the very beginning so we have this very nice animation now I can hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and scale this a bit just like so it covers a complete text let me move this a bit so you can see it looks pretty cool now one more thing that you can do in order to make it look more complex is hit ctrl d to duplicate it and change the track map to alpha inverted hit scale and let's set this to minus 100 so now you can see we have a very interesting look pretty cool if you don't see this track mat option you can just hit f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible so we have our base animation ready to roll now let's select all the layers instead of accept the background layer hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it call this animation hit ok now we can do various different things with this the first thing that i'm going to do is hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this maybe five frames forward in time or maybe 10 frames select the second one go into effects and preset and type in blinds i'm gonna add some venetial blinds on this so let's set this to around 50 percent and make it really nice and thick around eight should be good and let's set this to 45 so now we have this really interesting look as you can see looks pretty cool that is looking pretty good let's create one more copy hit ctrl d from the last one I'm gonna really I'm gonna delete the venetial blinds and move this two layers forward in time select this go into fix and preset and type in fill just to add some nice color to this so let's see what we have see looks pretty cool maybe I think 10 frames is a bit too much I can set this to around 7 frames or something so 
so as you can see now we have some more detail into our scene let's copy the fill from here hit control c control v and um for the last text i'm going to change the color to a nice purplish something like that to give it a really nice effect as you can see looking pretty nice still not happy i'm going to set this to five frames and this one to 10 frame now let's preview this yep that is exactly what i'm going for looks pretty cool let's pretty quickly add some nice background and some elements to fill up the scene so first things first i'm gonna hit ctrl y and create a new solid call this grid and go into effects and preset and type in grid let's double click to apply that up set this to with slider and i'm gonna increase the size a bit maybe 55 set the border to one and for the color i'll go with a nice purple color that we have that looks nice and then hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it call this grid and then i can select the ellipse tool and create a mask from the center holding ctrl just like so hit f to bring down the feather properties feather this up to 1000 and now we have this really nice look maybe i'll bring down the opacity a bit gonna keep it very subtle so something like 50 percent as you can see if i set this to full you can see how it looks all right now let's add some overlay to this so i'm gonna hit ctrl y call this overlay give it a nice purple color hit ok then select the ellipse tool and create a mask holding ctrl from the center just like that and hit f feather this up really high maybe i'll just bring this point up a bit increase the feather amount really high and bring down the opacity so hit t and bring down the opacity keep it very subtle like something like 25 and there you go that is looking very nice let's select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit r and rotate this by 180 degrees and let's and let's select the layer and add a fill on this and let's give it a nice pinkish light pink color and let's bring down the opacity a bit keep it very subtle now obviously you will start getting some color bending so to fix that what you can do is hold alt and click on this icon to switch to 16 bits per channel and create a new adjustment layer call this and create a new adjustment layer call this noise go into effects and preset type in noise double click and set this to five percent in order to get rid of the color bendings also i'm going to go back into the grid composition and let's increase the grid size to around 70 i think yeah that looks much better and basically there you go there you have your cool um text animation which is super simple and looks pretty interesting now there are various different effects that you can add on the duplicate of the text to achieve you know more interesting results so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.